we're going to be building out this fun looking form. And I really like this form because it is kind of different than other forms you might have seen around the web. We are going to do a purple background and we have our inputs as these nice purple uh, areas. And they kind of pop off the background and you can type into them right there. And then we've got this pink submit button. Let's get started with this. We're going to go and start with our container div. And then inside of this, let's make sure that we have our form. And what's interesting about this one is that we're not going to wrap our form inside of any div just yet because we don't really need a containing card. The other forms had that white card as the background. For this form, we don't need that background, so we're going to skip it. Form, we're going to have an action on the form. And then inside of this, we're going to have our two inputs just like we did before and our two labels. So I'm going to say div times two. Inside of each of these, we're going to have a label plus an input. All right, so tab over for that so we can get that full uh, expansion going thanks to Emmet. And I'll just do a little bit of formatting right here. And then I'll hit save and CodePen will do the rest of the formatting for us, which is nice. Let's go for name is here and we're going to say name and then type is text. We're going to go for ID is name, name is name. And let's go for a placeholder is equal to Chris on code. All right, that looks good. Let's go for the same here. We're going to say Twitter and this is type is text. We're going to go name is Twitter. Actually, let's do ID since we did ID on the top right there. So we'll go for ID is equal to Twitter. Name is Twitter. And placeholder is at Chris on code. Finally, let's round this out with a button. And we're going to say submit. All right, so now we have all of the HTML, all of the structure for our form. Let's start with our background. We're going to go with a purple class is background purple at 600. Let's go for padding Y at 32. So a really big top and bottom padding. Let's go for left and right padding X 10. So not too much minimum height is the screen so that we get that purple for the full height of our screen. And then let's increase the text on all of the children of this div. Let's go for text XL. Okay, that looks good there. Now let's start working on our form. Let's center our form. Let's go for class. Let's say width is one half, but only on medium or larger. And then we need these to center itself. So let's go MX auto. There we go, it is centered right there. Let's spread this out now. Here is our div and our div and our label and our input. Since we want the name and the input, so the label and the input to sit side by side, we're going to add class is equal to flex so that they do sit side by side. We're gonna go class on our input is flex one so that it spreads out to be the full width of the div. We're going to set a width on the label class is W 20. Let's go for a text, right? So that it spreads to the right and a margin, right of eight. Okay. That looks good. So let's go ahead and copy all of these for the section down here for our Twitter input. I'm going to say classes flex right here so that they sit side by side. We're going to copy the label right there. And we're going to copy the classes for the input as well, which is just flex one right now. Okay, so I'm seeing that we didn't even put in the label for this one. So let's add that now. Twitter is right there. And now that shows up. Okay. So next up, let's start styling out our input fields. And then we'll start working on our colors. So I really do like sticking with the spacing and box sort of properties first. So let's start with our uh, input right here. Let's go for padding of four all the way around. But really the padding on the left isn't necessary since it's already spaced out from the name. 
So let me show you a cool trick. We have padding four, which is gonna be top, right, bottom, and left. We can overwrite the padding on the left by saying PL zero. So we're able to create a padding all the way around and then we're able to overwrite just a single one of them by doing padding L zero. Next up, we want this to be centered vertically. So let's say items center right there. All right, that looks good. Let's do the same down here, items dash center, and then down here, padding four PL dash zero. All right, that looks cool right there. Next up, we don't want our inputs to be the thing that has the background. So for each of these, and I'm gonna command click into each of these now so that we can start typing in two instead of copying and pasting everywhere. I'm going to say BG transparent. So that removes the background. So far, we've only set a background on some things. Here, we're just removing the background. Let's move the background onto our parent div right here. So each div is gonna handle its own background. And watch what happens. We go background purple at 300. And now that one takes the background right there. We'll do the same down here. And I'm going to command click to get both of these. So the top right here, needs to be rounded on the left and the right, rounded, top, large. And then we'll do the same for here, except this time we're gonna go rounded dash bottom large. So the bottom gets rounded. All right, that looks cool right there. Let's get a little bit of a border on this one right here so that we say border dash B, so border bottom, and then we're gonna say border purple at 500, so it's a little bit darker. There we go. All right, so we need our bottom one to have a margin on the bottom, so let's go ahead and do that. So margin bottom of 10. All right, so now that we've done that, we have our styling for this. Our colors are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and try to change out the colors of our text since this black and the input aren't the best colors for what we're trying to achieve. So let's go up here. Instead of having our label have no color, let's click there and let's click there. Let's go for a text purple at 200. That looks a lot better right there. And it might be a little light for accessibility. So you can up that to 300, make it a little bit darker. It looks like that 300 won't work, and that makes sense because the background is purple 300. So if the text is purple 300, it won't really pop off of that. So let's go background purple 500. There we go. Now our placeholder here is kind of this gray. We can actually change the placeholder color thanks to Tailwind. We can say placeholder purple at maybe 200. Oh, sorry, I put placeholder purple on the label. It actually needs to be on the input, so let's undo that. And then down here on the input, I'm gonna click here, command, click there, and then we're gonna say placeholder purple at 200. All right, that looks good right there. Let's actually make our background a little darker. Let's go for 400 right here. I think that'll look better because it'll be a little bit closer, there we go. It'll be closer to the 600, which is the background for the total thing. And now this placeholder purple 200 might be a little too light. So let's change that command and that's do 300 right there. And then we'll change out our label color for instead of the 500, maybe go for a 200. There we go. So that looks good there. And then as we type into it, there are two things we need to fix. One, the text is black, and two, there's an outline. So let's go and select our inputs and go outline none, and then let's go for text white. So as I type Chris on code, that's looking good. At Chris on code, that looks good as well. Okay, so next up, there might be something that you would wanna do, maybe throw in some background color for when somebody is focused on this input. Since we are running out of time in this video, let's go ahead and style the button and call it a day class. We want the button to be the full width, so let's go block. We want the width to be full, so let's specify with full. 
We want the corners to be rounded. We want a background pink at 400. I think the pink and the purple work really well together. All right, text center is already there. Padding Y of three to get some padding on the top and bottom. Text white for the text. Font bold right there. And then let's add a shadow. The last thing I want to do to wrap this video up is this form looks really nice, except let's make it pop a little bit more. Let's wrap everything. And let me drop this font size down a little bit. Let's wrap both the top div and the bottom div for our inputs into another div. So let's say div right here. And then down here, I'll say div. And then let's go ahead and do class is shadow XL. And now that gives that form a little bit of a shadow on the bottom and it pops off of the background purple, which is a nice effect.